everyone, it's time to meet the magic. We are here at the Plaza Inn on Bats Day, where I am founding from the Kingdom Hearts. Anyhow, I've always said I wanted to try the fried chicken here at Disneyland, and here it is, the, trick, the chicken entree in all its glory. We're talking biscuit, we're talking potatoes, we're talking chicken, we're talking vegetables. This, this might even be too much for me. I wanted a lunch, and it looks like I got like two dinners. So we're gonna give this a try and see how good the fried chicken is here at Disneyland. So yeah, I ate all of it. Well, a little bit of green beans left, but more or less I ate all of it. That was uh, that was quite the meal. So we'll go through it step by step as always. First off, the chicken. The skin has a nice flavorful kind of flavor to it. A little bit of a hint of spice in there. A little bit of hint of heat, but it's it's not really much you'll really notice unless you're really weak. You give me two smaller pieces of chicken, one huge piece of chicken. It's plenty of meat, plenty of food. The biscuit is nice. It's light and fluffy on the inside, crispy on the outside like you want. Works really good if you dip it in the gravy of the uh, mashed potato, but you could also add butter if that's your style, or just eat it plain. You have plenty of options there. Mashed potatoes, very creamy. They have a little, it tastes like a little bit of the chunks of the skin in there maybe. Gravy is nice. It's kind of a typical gravy, nothing too special. But it, it's of course part of the complete, you know, food. And it works out pretty well too. It has some good flavor. I don't think you'll really need to add any you know, pepper or anything to it. You're gonna be good. Uh, the green beans are, I like green beans, just to, as a point of it's one of my favorite vegetables. But mm, just kind of run of the mill green beans, you know? It's not like, oh, they're green beans, but they have a unique flavor. No, it's just green beans, it's green beans. They're pretty good, they, they round out the meal. Um, it makes it a kind of a complete southern style dinner where you really have the meat, the potatoes, the, the bread, and the vegetables. So you're getting a lot of food here. And depending on how big your appetite is, I skipped breakfast, so this really helped for lunch. If you had a big lunch, you might not want to have this. It might be too much for you. But if you like the fried chicken, if you like a southern style kind of uh, food with the biscuit, and the gravy, and the mashed potatoes, this is really good. Uh, I've been to a few places that have done it better, I'm going to say that right now, but for, you know, at this park, this might be one of my go-tos if I'm really, really hungry, alongside the Monte Cristo sandwich. There's only a handful of things here that are that huge, I need that big meal, I need to feel really fully recharged, and this is a great option in that regard for a more home-style kind of thing rather than a more elaborate type of meal. Overall, I do highly recommend this for those of you who love fried chicken, those of you who love, you know, big dinner style plates. It'll fill you up and if you sit in here, it's a nice relaxing place. It gets uh, air conditioning, which is always a bonus. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for the notifications. Yeah, I'm going to think that YouTube video tells you to do. Plus, if you could, drop a few points into our coffee so I don't have to wear gimmicky stuff like this in my head in order to entertain you. Until next time, remember, this is a field of real donuts, not of sex.